Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel of Mr. Football Loons. Today, we are finally doing a week predictions. Haven't done one for a long time, around three weeks now. But it's week nine predictions. Let's get started on the 21st of November. Newcastle United facing Chelsea. 3-0 to Chelsea. I am a Newcastle fan, but... I'm going to say it because I know what would happen. I'll probably say it would be a closer result and Chelsea will thrash him. Chelsea have been all of a sudden doing really well after the 4-1 win over Sheffield United. Newcastle, on the other hand, they lost 2-0 against Southampton, which last year Newcastle did get six points out of Southampton, but it looks like they're not going to do the same again after Southampton seeming way, way better than last year. They still do good last year, though. But now, moving on, Aston Villa versus Brighton. 2-1 to Aston Villa. Aston Villa have been doing really, really good. They had a bit of a downfall when they lost 3-0 against Leeds. But after last game's performance, winning 3-0 against Aston Villa, just congratulations. They're doing amazing and I think they'll keep it up. But I think Brighton, their last game, they drew 0-0 against Bur um, Burnley. I think they have a decent side. And I think they're very close of maybe getting a bit more higher up at the table. But I think this game will not be it. I think a few more games and might start getting cracking on with the wins. But now moving on to the next game. Tottenham Hotspur versus Manchester City. 3-1 to Manchester City. Now, Spurs, they won 1-0 against West Brom. I believe I predicted that. Oh, wait, no, I didn't do we get predictions, did I? Never mind. Um, They won 1-0 against West Brom. Probably could have done better, but West Brom seeming to do actually not too bad at the start. They seem to gain a lot of draws, as I did predict, like they usually do in the Premier League. But, you know, what was Man City's game? That was 1-1 one -one against Liverpool. That was pretty decent for Man City to get a point. I mean, they're obviously going to be determined to win this game. I mean, they drew 1-1 one -one against Liverpool. I think they definitely got this one in the bag. Manchester United versus West Brom. 2-0 to Manchester United. Manchester United, I think they're improving after the 3-1 winning against Everton. They're going to start cracking on form, move up away from that 15th position. And I think they're just going to destroy West Brom 2-0. I think West Brom, because they don't, uh, because they usually have a very good defence in that they don't concede as many goals, I think that Man United won't score four or five goals. It's only going to be two. But Man United are going to dominate that game. Moving on to a whole new, brand new day. 22nd of November, Fulham taking on Everton, 2-1 to Everton. I think Everton will get back on it, but I think it will definitely be a very close one, very close in between the two sides. Fulham last game, only lost 1-0 against West Ham. Mm, maybe we could have at least got a point there, but I still think Fulham are going to get relegated. They're going to have a lot of close games, like against Everton, but they're lacking something, and I don't know what. But Everton's last game... They lost 3-1 against Man United, but I think they've got this in the bag. I mean, I'd be surprised if they don't. Moving on to the next game, Sheffield United versus West Ham. 1-0. As we did speak about West Ham's game, that was a must-win game against Fulham. Sheffield United haven't been on at all any good form. They look like they're going to go down. I don't think they will. I think they'll make a comeback. But I think this might be around the start. I think maybe a couple more games and they might be able to get a hang on maybe their first win i mean after losing 4-1 against chelsea it is chelsea they made some banging signings but i think soon they're going to be on better form and maybe rise up the table to 15th 14th moving on to the next game leeds united versus arsenal 2-1 to arsenal now after leeds's dreadful game against crystal palace don't know what was going on there crystal palace won 4-1 it was disappointing I think Leeds will do a bit more better. They're determined. They're not going to be let down. They know they have just got really big defeats, so they're going to be pushing for this game. And they've made some good signings this season. And Bamford is on fire. I mean, he's absolutely amazing. Um, Arsenal on the other side did lose 3-0 against Aston Villa, but I think they'll work over it and just about scrape a win against Leeds United. Next game, Liverpool versus Leicester. 2 all. Now, this one I was tempted to say 3-2 to Liverpool. I think that it will be my second prediction. But it's definitely going to be a close one after Liverpool only just about secured a draw against Man City. Um, Leicester City, on the other hand, managed to get a really good win against Wolves. They're definitely going to be happy with that. But yeah, 
Moving on to the whole new, brand new day, 23rd of November, Burnley versus Crystal Palace. 1-0 to Crystal Palace. I think Crystal Palace is going to get lucky. You know, I think they're going to get lucky a lot. I think Burnley, a couple more games and they'll be secured. I think they will rise up maybe to 16th. That's really it. I think it's because of the start. They're not going to do as good. But next season, I think they'll do way more better. But now, let's move on to the next game. Wolves versus Southampton. The last game. Now, this one, I would say 2 all, But as Southampton have been doing absolutely amazing, 3-2 to Southampton. It's definitely going to be a close one. I could be totally wrong about this. But my second prediction is 2 all. That will be the end of my video. Hopefully you can like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.